hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be talking about winter trends so you guys are in the loop and know what's hot right now and what to buy and what would actually also last you for next year so that you're not just buying a one-time thing so i'll let you know if it's like a trendy piece or a classic timeless piece so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notification bell button so you know that every time i post and let's get started so don't mind me i'm just looking at my little notebook because i wrote everything down but the first thing that i've been seeing are these really chunky scarves so a lot of the ones are like from acne studios like the plaid ones but i've seen a lot of like neutral chunky scarves as well these are definitely a staple piece because honestly it's practical too it's not just for fashion it's like to keep you warm um i would say if you want to wear it over and over again for countless years definitely get the solid color ones instead of the pattern ones and maybe get in like a neutral color so you have more ways to wear it but if you like patterns definitely go for the plaid ones i think those are super cute too or you could just get a plaid one in a neutral color i have more colorful scarves because i'm more of a colorful person but i would love to get like a white chunky one so the second thing I've been seeing are those mini Uggs everywhere and they remind me of the slippers I wear at home. Um, these Uggs are like really back in because before, last year I saw um, moon boots were in and now they're Uggs. So if you want to be trendy for right now, definitely get Uggs like the little mini, mini ones. But if you want to wear them next year, I'm not really sure but I heard they're really really warm so if you don't really care and you just want to be warm definitely get these uggs but they are um a lot to take care for you have to like make sure you don't step into puddles and you have to spray stuff on them so just be aware of that but i think they look really cute with outfits and i'll just put some inspo up here the next thing i've been seeing a lot of is fleece so fleece is really really warm i definitely recommend getting some in neutral colors too i remember they used to call this like the teddy coat or something a while back so I feel like this trend keeps kind of reappearing every winter because it's warm. Like, why wouldn't you want to wear a bunch of fleece on your body? So definitely a neutral color would look really cool. I have more darker colors and some neutral colors. Um, and I've just seen them everywhere over Pinterest and they look like... I, I understand why they call it a teddy coat. It looks like a teddy bear is hugging you, so... The next item that I keep seeing is the iconic puffer jacket and last year I went viral because of this brown puffer jacket I bought from Uniqlo and yeah because the North Face one uh, was sold out, the brown one. So um, definitely I love 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 puffer jackets, they're very streetwear vibes and you can wear them in fall too, like they look really good in fall. They give me like soccer mom vibes, but in a good way. Um, Uniqlo makes really great ones. Not sponsored by Uniqlo, I wish. Inshallah, one day. But um, they look really good and then they work multiple ways. You can even wear them for springtime. So I definitely recommend getting a puffer jacket in a neutral color so you can wear it over and over again. Okay, so I've also been seeing this like cable knit sweater everywhere. Basically because Rory Gilmore wore this in Gilmore Girls and everyone's been finding it at the thrift stores. I think it's very, very cute and it can be styled many different ways and it can be worn and I feel like it's a very timeless classic piece because it's inspired from a vintage show or like not a vintage, like a 90s show. So I feel like a lot of things seen in 90s shows are like timeless classic pieces. So this would be a very classic piece and I've seen just a lot of chunky knits like what I'm wearing here but this one's a turtleneck. So just a chunky, warm sweaters in general are obviously a trend for winter because it does keep you warm the next thing i've been seeing a lot are sequins specifically for like new year's and like gatherings obviously you won't wear sequins outside but just um metallic sequin sparkles every year it's the same thing um i've seen a lot of like these revolve dresses and a lot of bows actually i've been seeing a lot of bow dresses and they're really really cute so definitely something to look, um, definitely something to buy if you're going to do a holiday party or something. I know a lot of fast fashion 
shops have it, like Fashion Nova, etc. And another trend I've been seeing are these fur trim coats. So I have one in purple. I wish I got it in like white or black or like a neutral color so I go wear it with everything. I haven't worn it, but it's really warm. It's so cute. It's like the Charlotte Simone, Charlotte Simone coat that I've been seeing everywhere. It was a huge thing last year. And I really wanted one of my own that was much cheaper. This was like a hundred. And the Charlotte Simone ones are like, oh my god, <laughs> triple plus duty. So another three hundred dollars. I don't know. It's a lot, and I really like this one, but I really do wish it was a different color. I wonder if I can change it by bleaching it. I don't think that's safe. And I've also been seeing these fur hats. I think they're called Futrain. Futrain hats. Like the Russian fur hats. Just everywhere on Pinterest. I think they look awesome. Like rich lady vibes. So if you want one, definitely get it. But I think they're really cute. And I also really, really like these long trench coats I've been seeing everywhere. This was more of a fall thing. But I've definitely been seeing it for some winter vibes. Uh, obviously, if you're really cold, you want to layer under it. But any like long coat, even the fur trimmed coats are long line coats as well. So those all work perfectly in winter. And that is my little winter fashion trends forecast for you guys. Super short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me or sorry, make sure you subscribe for more, for, follow my social media accounts and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.